What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Angry Otter, otherwise known as Mike, and we are playing Academia again. This is episode 3 of Academia. Uh, if you've missed any of it, there is a playlist that you can check out. I'll link that in the card in the top right. But uh, yep, episode 3. Um, end of episode 2, we had some cash flow problems. Uh, you might notice that also on the end of episode 2 we left off on day 4 and we're now on day 7 of year 2. So basically what I did whilst um, whilst off, off, uh, off video was to uh, let the game play through a couple of days, get rid of our loan so we are now fully debt free and get some cash in. So we've uh, we've got some cash, we're, we're back in the, the green um, so fingers crossed now we won't have any massive issues and we can carry on and uh, make the school the best it can be you might have also noticed that actually we've uh, we've amended the common room a little bit here actually this looks a bit weird because of where i've cut up the common room a little bit so let's um let's no i don't want you okay get out of my way I want to sell that bin so that i can move it Sell the bin. Um, let's put a new vending machine back in. So let's pop you back in there. We also removed some throughout the school uh, in our effort to save some money a bit further down the line. So let's put some, put some of those back in for now. Um, let's put one up here. And then let's put the trash bin back in that we missed. So let's put one in there. Common room, common area's already got one. Uh, there's one there. Let's pop one just down here. So um, let's let that play through. So let's have a look at what grants we've got. So uh, research liberal arts and build an art room. That could be cool. Uh, cash flow positive for four days. No sick for four days. Research teacher training and trained teacher. No dropouts for four days. Nutritional planning. Binds principles, project management. Oh, actually, um, I completely forgot to say whilst we were um, out of the game, we did employee welfare, which means we can now make a faculty lounge um, for all our staff to sit in. So let's do that. But in the meantime, let's let's build the let's research the oval the oval track. Um, that's this one. Yep, ready, set, go. So let's get that. And as I said, we can now start looking. Oh, sorry, no. I did build a faculty lounge just over here, um, off, off, um, off the uh, video as well. So and then set the door up as a staff door, so that the kids can't get in. Uh, what I think I probably need to do is make a little bit more space in the common area, um, a little bit more of chairs and tables maybe so let's do that uh one there one there pop some chairs in cool that just gives them a bit more space to sit in the common area janitor wise staff wise we've got four janitors probably okay for now kids wise we've got one delinquent that is um what was their name our one delinquent was more Michelle Gomez. Um, so Michelle is just generally an angry person, as you can see here. Um, we do have her going to counselling now, though. It, for some reason, it wouldn't let me send her to counselling um, last time round. And then we fixed our last um delinquent which was do 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 let's go to students what was his name um favorited it was david howard he's now sorted he's no longer a delinquent so um yeah he it's now given us space to counsel uh, michelle gomez so We've also added a few chairs up in the library. The library needs extending, to be honest. It needs making a lot bigger. So maybe we'll do that now, actually, just because it's a bit on the small side. Um, so what I'm thinking is... Um, so it's currently 9 by 5. I need to kind of maybe go upwards, I think. 
So let's go to so five, uh, so six, seven, eight, ten. Ten by nine? Actually, it would make more sense to kind of do that, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so we need to build some walls around that. Um, like that. And then I need to demolish these walls. Uh, and then car ba -ba -ba, floor wise. I'm pretty sure I put a teal carpet in here. So we're teal carpet that up. Cool. All right. So our builders will start doing that. Which breaks my library because it's now not classed as um, over trackers research. That's good. It's not classed as inside anymore because they've got to build the walls around it. But that's fine. We can fix that. And then object wise for the library. Um, let's grab that. So we're going to build a couple of bookcases back here. Uh, and then what I think I might do is do some bookcases here as well. Um, we're going to sell that bookcase. Oh, broken toilet. Let's fix that. Oh, random event. So what have we got? Oh my god, an earthquake has rocked your school. Call emergency services to limit, it, limit the damage. 20% chance. 30 random objects break and get 20 students get injured. I'm sure it'll be fine. We don't have it, have to do anything. 40 objects break. 30 students get injured. Oh, great. Um, I want to do this one, but I don't have the cash to do that one. So I'm going to have to do this one. Uh, your irresponsible behavior has put your students in danger and lowered the prestige of your school immensely. Great. All of these happy... Whoa, right, okay. So, we're going to need to hire some workers, I think. Um, and we've got a lot of sick students. So, firstly, we're going to need to repair that. Um, so that anyone in the clinic can um, get sorted. Now, there is a way to call an ambulance. But I don't remember where it is. Satisfaction. Clinic. Um, no, it's not there. Where was it? Oh, it's going to really annoy me. Department bank loan department? Nope. Uh, logistics, blueprint, staff, objects, build zones. Principal office link. It's not something that I've not researched, is it? I'm sure there was a way of calling an ambulance. If you had loads of really sick, sick students. Um, it must be in reports. Here, yeah. Oh, it's there. Clinic. Right. So, call ambulance. Uh, I kind of want to do all 30. Three grand. I don't have enough funds. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, we're just going to have to... Let's just slow everything down a little bit. Uh, repair. 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 I'm out of money. I'm out of money. Why too many sick students? I know! I know! Okay. Um, bank loan. Oh, God, I don't want to get back into this again. Right, okay. Let's just try and get through this day. Let's speed it up. Try and get through the day. Uh, 107... I'm fully aware that I have too many sick students. Recovering from sickness. Warning, you have too many sick students. I know. Oh dear, this has not gone well for me, has it? Running low on funds. That crate, that noise is so irritating. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, 
Funds are running low. It's four o'clock. It's coming up to five o'clock. They're all going to go home in a second. Right, they've all gone home. Okay. I think it's because I don't have enough money for them to fix the things I've asked them to fix. So it keeps saying, no, you can't. But in about an hour, they're going to go away. There you go. They're all going home. Oh, right. Okay. The school has been decimated. We need to um, get back into it. Right. Let's have a look at this. We've got... We're going to have a ton of sick students come to the school. We do not have enough in the clinic to be able to deal with it. So, we're going to put some more beds in, I think. And we're going to put a couple of chairs in. Um, so that will help me a little bit. And then things that I need to repair. I need to repair this. I need to repair this. I need to repair the stove. Because otherwise the kids can't eat. We're going to need to repair the toilets. Repair all of this. Right, let's stop and just check that we have 29 students ab absent due to sickness. Wow. That is pretty extreme. Right, okay, so they've repaired those. Are you going to repair that? Let's repair all of this to make the staff happy. We're doing okay for money. Right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Let's repair that. Funds are getting low. Let's repair that. Let's repair the benches. And this water fountain. Repair, repair. Right, how are we doing for funds? 196. Right, we're going to have to slow down on the repairs. What's that? 90. 22. We can do you. 45. Yep, that's fine. We'll do you. 68. Mm. 135. No, probably not going to do you. Right. You have too many sick students. I'm aware. Thank you. Um, that's a pretty cheap one to repair. Right, okay. This day is halfway through, and we have not a lot of money. Are you going to repair this? Um, not a lot of money, and a lot of sick students. So hopefully, after this day ends, we can, um, who are you? I'm in my army. Just went and had a wee in the bush, didn't you? I watched you up here. Right, so we need to look at getting um, staff toilets. Now, I'm pretty sure... Toilet. Yeah, it's uh, unlocked by re researching staff-only facilities. Okay. We can't build our oval track yet that we've researched because um, that is going to cost too much. We will repair that. So at least the principal's office is fully functional then. Too many sick students. Funds are low. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you. Right, and everyone's now going to go home for the day. Last little bit of cleaning up by the janitors. Oh, this is not the way I wanted to end year two. Um, but that seemingly is the way I'm going to end year two. So... Here we go. Right, let's repair these last few little bits. Repair, repair. Repair. Okay. I think now everything is fixed in the school, as it should be. You have too many sick students. I'm aware. Thank you. Um, so, do we call 
an ambulance. So I don't have any sick students in school. That's because they're probably off. 27 are absent due to sickness. Ugh. Oh, we are not going to do well at the end of year report. Oh, that is savage. Okay. Yes, I know I have too many sick students. Thank you for telling me. I'm fully aware. Right, okay. Let's um let's just make the library nice like I was planning to. Um for now. And we will just have to see how the end of year goes. Um I don't think it's gonna go all that well. Um yeah, it might be a bit of an issue the end of year. The report might not be as good as we would have hoped. We've also not expanded the school as much as I would have liked. Um, whilst we've got a little bit of cash, let's do some research. Um, let's do some of the staff stuff. So, uh, staff only facilities is free grand. I don't have enough money for it. I don't particularly. Uh, I don't particularly want to get stuck in that place where I don't have enough money. Let's do dishwasher and man, um, faster dishwashing. Yep, too many six students. I know, I know. Look, I'm fully aware. Thank you. 27 at home. Oh. Now, I don't know how long students say at home sick for. Motivation is low. Um, yeah, and they are not doing well in math, science, art and PE because of quite a large number of students actually being at home sick. Well, let's um, let's get through day nine, see how the results go. Um, the earthquake has really not helped us at all um, and has caused quite a few issues for uh, Otter High. But... Um, I mean, final grade was a B plus last year. I've got a feeling we're not going to quite hit that this year. Um, rival rank was five, three, six, so we were at six, eight, six last year. So yeah, not too bad. Um, let's see how it goes this year. I'm really skeptical that we're going to get anywhere near that. Um, six, eight, six. Hopefully it doesn't drop too much. Fingers crossed it doesn't drop too much. Here we go. So it's the end of day nine, uh, end of year two. Let's see how the reports come in. And hope that we haven't dropped too... I know. Hope that it hasn't dropped too drastically. So coming up to 630... And here we go. So final exam, currently ongoing. Oh dear. 686 is what we had. Come on, don't drop too much. Oh. Okay, not too bad. I can live with that. It was okay. We got a B overall. Uh, passing rate was not good. Um, we had a lot of students fail and I can only think that is mostly because of the earthquake. So, let's move on to year three. Let's try and expand the school a little bit. We need to build some more classrooms for sure this year to get people in, because um, we have quite a lot of interest um, in the school, so we definitely need to build some more classrooms. So, what I'm thinking is that um right we've got 124 interested and four returning we've got 25 seats so i need to build quite a lot of classrooms for the freshmen that are interested right let's build some classrooms uh classroom freshmen um do we build some classrooms off of here so like um, like there, and then bring the wall round it. I think I might do that. Let's build a couple of freshman classrooms. 
um, and then build the wall down the school and across. Um, oh, I've done that wrong. I've not planned that well, have I, guys? So that actually needs to go to there. Um, because I want a corridor here, so then those zones need to move. Sorry, remove zone. Freshman classroom. And another freshman classroom. Put a wall up between the two. Um, let's do that. Funds are running low. I'm already out of funds. Wow. Um, then we are going to have to, uh, let's do this. So I've got four returning, got 25 seats, so I can put 21 in. And then if I get another two classrooms of 25, that's 50. So 50, sorry, I can get 21 in. Did I just say 21? Oh my god, math was, maths with Mike is not going well. So I've got two classrooms that are going to have 25 in each, so that's 50. I've got space for 20, 71. Wow, that was hard work. Hello, why won't you let me type 71 in there, please? Let me do what? What the? Delete. 71. No! There we go. It was weird. So, I have 24 remain returning. Uh, I don't have enough seats for that. Sorry, I don't want to press that at all. So I've got 24 returning and a total of 25 seats. So I can have one incoming. 27, so that's... I can't have any more incoming for senior. I've got too many juniors. Um... So I need to add two seats in for juniors. Okay. Um, I need to pop in some stuff for the classroom. So, uh, classroom. We need teacher's table. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you. I'm working on it. So then... Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. I don't have enough money. Okay, we're gonna have to get a bank loan. I'm gonna go with 30 and hope that we can recoup. Hey, bank loan, 30, borrow, thank you. Um, hope that we can recoup some of this money. After all the effort that I made trying to fix the school in the last episode, and all I've done is break it again with an earthquake. Not actually my fault this time. Like, last time, yeah, fair play, I broke the school. This time, not so much. Floors. Floors are expensive, but I really do want them in. Um, uh, I have no idea what colour carpet I've been putting in the classrooms. Let's get my guys to build that. Um, and see where we're at then. Um, so, administration. Yeah, I've got two juniors that I need to add seats for. So that's sophomore, that's junior. So it's not going to be ideal, but let's do that for now. I think it's going to make that class size too big. Um, I'm going to have to also hire some more teachers because of the increase in freshmen when the classrooms are built, I believe. So that's all full. Or maybe I don't. Okay. It looks like I've managed to not have to hire more teachers. So, let's have a think about this. I've got 
couple more juniors and a couple more seniors that want to join and 53 freshmen which is another two classrooms basically I could fit another two freshman classrooms in here couldn't I do I have the money to do it let's see how it goes so uh, six by eight um, build some walls around it we would then demolish these two walls put some blue carpet in uh, put a door in there I've put the door in the wrong way around but that's fine I can live with that um, we've still got enough cash so um, let's put some grey carpet into here then we need to put some objects in so whiteboard teachers table seats 20k 19k okay so I do have enough to do that again so let's let's do it again um, it's a little bit of a tedious way of doing this guys I know but I just need to keep an eye on this money um, so floors, door, put a bit of carpenting in, board, teacher, and I think spending the money on the freshman is probably worth it. Oh, I've just put two whiteboards in when I actually should have put a teacher's table in yes teachers assigned there's two pupils not assigned to a class I know it's going to be the end of the day so I'm going to have to wait to put that back in day two of build let's see how we go so if you could remove this whiteboard this uh, chalkboard that would be really helpful come on remove the chalkboard there we go teacher's desk that's better so, admin, 128 in total, I've got 125 seats, so what I'm going to do is 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, I'm going to do that, and actually I'm going to do that across all of the classrooms. So now I've got, I can add another, oh no, not 22. 27 seats 25 26 seats so I could add one for now so where are we at with that okay and now I need to check the schedule so that's okay sophomores are okay so the, here we go so junior so we're running low on teachers here so I need to hire language maths art PE and history so department, um, language department, 14, no, definitely not. Maths, you're amazing, but you are well expensive. You're expensive, 16, no, 19, 27, that's not bad. 29, but you are very demanding, so you give a decrease. Uh, 29, and you're okay, so we hire you for language, maths. Uh, 29, you're demanding though, 33, you're also demanding, what are you, 26, oh, wow, um, wow, 64, but a lot of money, but you do really good at maths, what do you like? 35 and you're not crazy expensive 31 but demanding so I've got so what's demanding do gives a small decrease in energy during class uh, 29 31 right okay we're gonna have to do that I think 
Um, what else did I say? Art, P, and history, I think, wasn't it? So you're amazing at maths. So let's look at art for now. 24, 20, 20. Nope. Uh, really good at art. It gives a small decrease in discipline during class, but again, expensive, and I don't think I can afford it at the moment. So my current is 34. Um, art, 25. Gives a big increase in energy during class. Oh, 34, nice. Okay, where have you? Um, what else was I missing? So the schedule here is full. Sophomore is full, so I'm missing PE and history. So PE and history. Department, uh, history. Um, 24, 23, 24, 26. Strict, gives a small increase in discipline during class. Mm, it's not bad, 26. 17, 27. Very mellow, gives an increase in energy during. That's not bad. So you're 411, you're 405, okay? 27, 27. And demanding. Um, 24, 25, 29. Very funny. Okay, you could be good for history. Let's hire you. Now we need PE. 32. Very funny. Oh no, it's an unhappy noise. I don't have money to hire a physical edu education teacher. Right, I think I'm gonna have to start the school year, get some cash in, hire the teacher, and then repair everything that's broken with my school. Right, so we have some money. So let's hire, it was you, wasn't it? it was you, for physical education. Right, so in theory, now if we go to the schedule, that's all full, that's full, that's full, that's full. Okay, so everyone's got, um, everyone has, we've got three unassigned, two, so you should just go to that classroom. Um, because that's all I can do really at the moment. So that's... Okay. So then, in theory... To repair this... I think I've covered all my teachers. I've covered all my students. Um... Let's just check breaks and stuff. So freshmen are all going for recess then. So they're going at 10 and 11, 10, sorry, 10 and 12, 10 and 12, 11 and 1, 11 and 1. I might move these guys. Oh, you can't, it's the whole year. So maybe sophomore get moved to 11 and 1 as well then. And all the freshman classes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 five classes and then only three classes let's go with that see how it goes hope that my canteen and my cooks can cope Ooh, the common area is busy so maybe we need to um, we need to build a bigger common area so I could extend the common area into where the activity hall currently is and then rebuild the activity hall, maybe here. Because it doesn't need to be huge, the activity hall. The activity hall needs to be eight by eight. If we did an eight by eight there, so yeah, that's not that big. I could maybe do that. Um, or we bring the corridor down and then we build the activity hall uh, there. Let's do that. We're gonna build the new activity hall here. Um, which then means that we need to put some carpet into here, demolish these walls. Actually, I'm going to remove that. 
and copy all of that and leave the activity hall open. And then zones, remove zone, this. So then, um, we need to sell these tables. Uh, you have a rich student, okay. So let's have a look at that. So, um, bully, you should go to some counseling. Um, Sharon Morgan, rude student, okay. So, activity hall needs some objects. So we need a loudspeaker and we need some tables. So I'm thinking that means my activity hall is back up and running. So then let's do some activities. So day two, we're doing bake sale. Yes, day four, we will do, we do a bake sale as well. Day six, we will do a career day. And day eight, we will do a leadership workshop. We're gonna get the builders to demolish this wall. Um, and then we're gonna carpet in this section like that. And then we're gonna build out the common area zoning to take in all of that. So a much larger common area for them to sit in and then let's see if we can add some stuff into the common area. So that they've got some places to sit. Oh, I've ruined the space in there a little bit, but oh well. Um, oh, actually, I need to sell that loudspeaker as well. Um, and then let's sell that vending machine and move it. So, uh, vending. Let's pop a vending machine up there. Um, got a couple of bins in the common area, so that's fine. Uh, and I might just put some chairs in as well, actually. Um, just kind of like down this wall. So that they've then got a little bit more space for stuff. Okay. We've got a few broken things. Oh, nope, sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. So let's repair you. Um, this sofa is broken, this toilet. Let's repair all of this. Students um, being sent uh, to counselling. I need some more janitors, I think, now. So that puts me up at six janitors. So let's maybe do eight janitors. Just because the school's getting much bigger, so it's going to get dirtier. Right, day two. Day one of school has been okay, so we've done some nice expansion at least. We've got a few things that we can start to research, so tell you what, let's get staff-only facilities so that they stop going in bushes around the school. Um, I want to build an oval track, and what I'm thinking is that... I'm going to move my field, build my oval track and field in the sort of same area. Um, so, for instance, special rooms, running track. It needs to be 18 by 12. So, let's get some planning on the go. So, if I was to make this kind of a gravel floorway, a gravel path, and then off of that gravel path, that's 15. So... Um, seven. So if I was to go from like here outwards, that means that's six. 
that's seven. That's slightly annoying that it's not symmetrical. So I could do three. Then, um, what was the running track? It was 18 by 12. Um, so let's do, um, so that's three, four, five, six. This has to say, student approached you to tell you that, that you're doing a great job. Oh, thanks. Nice add of prestige there. So then, say running track. We are looking at uh, 12. Do 18 downs, so from there, 16, 17, 18. So that's 18 by 12. So that would be our running track. And then on the other side, what we would probably do is um, I'd want to put a gravel path around my running track like that and then that would mean that I could move the field to this section so zones um, field so field needs to be seven by five so that's I could do eight by I could do a ten by seven there let's do that um, so objects for the field is some benches. Um, so let's pop one in there, one in there, and then put a water fountain in there. Which then means I can sell this, I can sell this, I can keep that water fountain. Um, I'm going to lay some grass over my field. And then I'm going to put some gravel in here. So you put gravel into here, gravel into here, gravel into here, into here. Okay, and then objects for the running track needs to be the track itself, which are you joking? It doesn't rotate. Oh, well, that's frustrating, isn't it? Why doesn't it rotate? I want to put my running track in here. Ugh. Oh, that's really annoying. <laughs> oh, Right, stop. Let's remove that. <clears throat> right, attempt number two at this. That's super frustrating. Um, so actually, I need to demolish all of this. Why won't you do? Oh, it's in build, that's why, sorry. I need to demolish all of that, all of this, all of this. Sorry, not this. That's potent. Oh no, hang on. That's not potentially fine. So zones. Running track. 18 by 12. Um, sorry, 12 by 18. So, um, gravel floor. They can build that. They can't, they can't build any of that, um, or any of that. I've just put gravel in, haven't I? That's not what I want. Get off. Dismantle. Dismantle. So, I want to dismantle all of that. 
We want to dismantle all of that. We want to keep that. Let's go. Right, let's see what happens this time. Whilst it does that, let's repair this. I'm gonna need to put some more toilets in, I think. Right, so then we can erase my planning here. Uh, erase all that planning. Erase that planning. Right, let's erase the planning. So, um, build gravel. Well, gravel there, gravel there, gravel there. Dismantle that gravel. Objects, oval running track. Like that. Then we're gonna put some grass in, in this section and in this section. And then we're gonna put bench there, bench there, bench there, bench there and a couple of water fountains next to each bench. So, um, I could actually probably dismantle that now and then extend this up into here. Right, let's go with that, see how it looks. He's building that. How are we doing? We've got a few issues with toilets, so repair, repair. Uh, I need to build some staff toilets. So, um, let's plan it out quickly. If I was to put a corridor in like that, then I could move the door for staff here. This would become staff only. You would have... Maybe if I made that corridor a bit bigger. Um, for symmetry's sake. I don't particularly like that, but... Um, it could work. Because uh, I could then put a staff canteen in. This could be... How big are you? You're seven. And you're seven. Yeah, so I could put another kitchen in for a staff canteen, which then could go up here. Um, because... Better brews. Staff only facilities will give me, has given me the staff canteen and staff toilets. So that's fine. That's what I want. Uh, we're going to research liberal arts for the kids so that we can get that going. Then I need to build some toilets for my staff. So I'm thinking staff could be here. So you could have canteen here, kitchen some toilets so actually that would potentially mean that my corridor would go up here and then I'm thinking if I build my kitchen up a little bit so that the door to the kitchen's here. We have a canteen for the staff up here. So for instance, uh, services, no nope, nutrition, sorry, staff cafeteria needs to be an 11 by an 11, which that space is not. Um, 11 by 11. Re Hang on, have I read that wrong? Suggested size 11 by 11. So what on earth size did I make this one? 11, oh I did make it an 11 by 11. Wow, it just doesn't look that big. We could do that. 
and then that would mean actually I wouldn't need to do the weird little kitchen bump so it would just be like that and then you would have that so that would be the staff canteen staff kitchen um, staff toilets 7x7 seven seven, which would then be like there which actually could work yeah because then I would pop a wall 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 there so that space is 7x6 I could live with 7x6, it's only suggested size, which then could mean that actually staff corridor would be, let's even make that a bit smaller actually, let's go with that. So that would be your kitchen. Here it would just be corridor, kitchen, toilet, canteen for staff, staff only entrance, they could then look at getting into the, we could then extend this corridor up, um, extend this corridor up and round. And then, right, my brain is not firing on all cylinders today, guys. You can clearly see it's not firing on all cylinders. I think, right, we're going to get rid of the corridors. We're going to worry about those as and when we get there. But I think that's my next thing, is that I'm going to build in the staff canteen, staff toilets, into this area. My running track is well underway. Uh, it's just waiting for the oval track to be finished. So I think that's what's going to happen in the next episode. Um, this one's getting super long now, so I'm going to have to leave it there, guys. But thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying Academia. Please leave uh, some comments for anything that you want to see or anything that you think I'm missing. Um, it would be super helpful. And in the meantime, please do leave a like and subscribe it really does help out the channel and for now guys that's me signing off so i hope you have a good morning afternoon or evening wherever you are for now i'll talk to you soon thanks guys bye bye